Gail. Hi everyone, I'm here at the Bible reading. I hope you're having a good day. Today we'll be in the King James Version, if you'd like to follow along. Are you going to follow along, my dear? You should. Yeah. Alright, so today we're reading 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 16 through 33, Psalm 54, and Proverbs chapter 23, verses 1, 2, and 3. And if you're following along with the Old Testament, again, it is still in the book of Isaiah. Join me later for a Bible study if you like. Tonight we'll be in the book of John. Alright, so let me begin with 2 Corinthians. Paul speaking, the Apostle Paul. I say again, let no man think be a fool. If otherwise, yet as a fool receive me, that I may boast myself a little. That which I speak, I speak is not after the Lord, but as it were foolishly in this confidence of boasting. Seeing that many glory after the flesh, I will also glory, I will glory also. For ye suffer fools gladly, seeing ye yourselves are wise. For ye suffer if a man bring you into bondage, if a man devour you, if a man take of you, if a man exalt himself, if a man smite you on the face. I speak as concerning reproach, as though we hadn't been weak. How be it, wheresoever, any is bold. I speak foolishly, I am bold also. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant in stripes above measure, in prisons, more frequent in death's law. Of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes, save one. That's right, Paul has been flogged for preaching the gospel. Many of them have been the disciples, many. Even Jesus himself was flogged before he was crucified. All the apostles, except you know the ones that die of natural causes or whatever, they die doing what they're doing by spreading the word of Christ, by spreading the good news, and they get killed for it. But like Paul says to him, death is gain. That's how it should be for all of us, because if we know where we're going, there's no, re no reason to be scared, and we should look forward to it. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Thrice I suffered a shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. In journeyings often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. You see, just because you're a Christian, even an apostle of Christ, even a disciple, your life is not going to be easy. It'll more than likely be harder at times than people who don't follow the Lord because you got God and the devil. The devil's testing you all the time, trying to turn you away from God. He don't like those souls being with Jesus. He wants to take those souls from Jesus. So remember that. That's why you have to stay strong in your faith. Because you will be tested a lot as a Christian. In weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. Besides those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches, who is weak, and I am not weak, who is offended, and I burn not. If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is blessed forevermore, knoweth that I lie not. In Damascus, the governor under Arteus, the king, kept the city of 
Damascenes with a garrison devourous to apprehend me. And through a window in a basket was I let down by the wall and escaped his hands. When Paul had first became Christian, when he first got baptized, the other disciples, he was with them, they were trying to convince them, you know, that Paul has, Saul had changed. He was Saul back then still, that he had changed and seen Christ and everything. But people were there to kill him because he switched sides. He was like a soldier in the guard, arresting Christians. And then his other fellow soldiers and the king and stuff, the high priests, they get mad at Paul because he is now a Christian and not persecuting the Christians anymore, but has joined them. So they're looking to kill him now. But the disciples that were there let him down the wall in a basket so he could escape. So the bad people would not find him. All right, guys, so that's where we're going to stop with 2 Corinthians today. And our psalm today is Psalm 54. It's really short. It's only got seven verses. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Your strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them. Selah. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye hath seen his desire on my enemies. And that was Psalm 54. And ending today's Bible reading, we got Proverbs chapter 23, verses 1 through 3. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife in thy throat, if thou be a man's given to appetite. Be not desorious of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Alright guys, that's where we want to stop today. That was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your hearts. Now let me go over the prayer requests before we end here. Please keep the following people in prayer. Sherman Crabtree, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Rhonda Parshner, Abby Myers and Matthew Simpson, Jimmy Myers. I heard Jimmy got a call for a job today. They just got to wait on a background check, and then he should be good to go. This is his first job, really, so, you know, the background check shouldn't be a problem anyway. Dora Carper, Layla and her son Emil, Melody and Eric Stanley, Michelle Watkins and Bella, Tabitha Clary, Randy Post, Jody Mahorder, Judy Thompson, Elizabeth Jeffries, Ray Dunlap, Henry Reffitt, Bridget Boggs and family, April Thacker and family, Norman Karshner, Garnet Boyer, and Jim Mitchell. All right, guys, that was everything for our Bible reading today. Join me for a Bible study in the book of John tonight, if you like. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.